Hello everyone, welcome back to Infinity Physics. In this lecture, we are going to discuss Lenz formula. So, here an object of height h is given, let us say height h o and it is from the case number 2 of the convex lens. So, if you have not watched my previous videos, please watch it. In that, I have given that how we can obtain this image. So, here the object is placed beyond the center of curvature or beyond 2 f 2. A parallel ray right after refraction will pass from the focus and a ray passing through the optical center will pass undeviated and they will meet here. And here we obtain a real inverted and a diminished image. Remember what type of image it is? Real inverted and a diminished that is a smaller size and its height is h i and where it is obtained it is obtained between the focus and the center of curvature or between f1 and 2 f1 now here this distance from the optical center to this position b this distance is called the object distance with which is u and this distance between the image and the optical center OB dash, this distance is called the image distance and which is V. And this, see convex lens has a positive focal lens. So, this is the focal length small f O f 1. Now, using the Cartesian sign convention, right, you know the Cartesian sign convention that is already explained in the part of the mirror. So, both uh, the mirror and the lenses have the same Cartesian sign convention. Distance towards the right are positive, distance towards the left are negative, height above the principal axis are positive, height below the principal axis are negative. So, here object distance which is left side, so it is u which is minus u and image distance which is this towards the right side, so it is O B dash, O B dash which is V plus V and focal length means this which is O F 1, O F 2 both the distances are same. So, it is plus F because for convex lens the focal length is positive. You can derive this formula with the help of the any case 1 to 6 case you can use any case to obtain this formula but here we are using case number 2. Also, you can derive this formula using the concave lens. So, here these are the sign conventions. Now, using the similarity of the triangle, you, ha you have learned some theorem, right? So, the similarity of the triangle. So, here if you can see that triangle, right angle triangle A, B, O. So, where is the right angle triangle? A, B, O, this triangle. A, B, O, this triangle and another triangle a dash b dash o a dash b dash o this triangle these two triangles are similar now why it is similar see here this angle is 90 degree and in this whole triangle this angle is also 90 degree so two angles are similar right one angle means this one and this one are similar now for the similar triangle all the three angles should be similar if two angles are similar then third angle is also similar because the total of the three angles is 180. So, this angle and this angle are the opposite angle see. So, these two angles are also similar. So, that means these two triangles are similar triangle right. So, if we take the ratio of the sides and the base then the ratios are constant means the ratio of these two sides whatever the ratio suppose the ratio of these two sides is a then if you take the ratio of their base then the ratio will also be a the ratios of the sides in the base of the two similar triangles are same so here we take the ratio of this height right ab by a dash b dash ab by a dash b dash ratios of these two sides is equals to ratios of these two sides. So, OB dash which is, which is the base. So, OB dash here and here OB. So, height of this triangle AB by height of this triangle A dash B dash. 
is equals to base of this triangle OB divided by the base of this triangle. So, so these two ratios are similar for the similar triangles. Now, in the Cartesian sign convention OB here OB, OB means minus U and OB dash means it is V. So, we get our equation 1. Now, another triangle here ODF to C. Here, the ray was passing like this and I have draw, drawn a very similar line means the line of the same length, an imaginary line right here OD, right. So, this line is similar to this. So, here it forms a, this triangle ODF1. So, here tri right angle triangle ODF1 and another triangle B dash A dash F1, B dash A dash F1. These two triangles are similar. Why? Because this angle is 90 degree and this angle is also 90 degree and these two angles are opposite angles. So, this angle O, D, F1, this and this, these two are similar right angle triangle. So, again we can take the ratios of their sides. So, here the ratio of O, D by A dash B dash, O, D by A dash B dash is equals to O, F1 means base divided by base of the another triangle that is F dash B or F1 B dash not F dash it is F1 B dash. So, we get our another equation. Now, here O, F1 here you can see what is O, F1? It is the focal length of the lens O, F1. So, here O, F1 is equals to focal length of the lens and F1, B dash F1 B dash means this distance, right? This distance I want F1 B dash. So, this F1 B dash I can write as this total distance is V. This total distance is V which is O B dash, but I want only F1 B dash. So, I can subtract, I can subtract uh, O F1 means O B dash minus O F1 this distance. What I want? I want this F1 B dash, right. So, I have this total line, right. From this line, if I subtract this part, so this line O B dash, now I am subtracting this O F1 from it, this O F1 from it, then O B dash minus O F1, then again I will get F1 B dash, right. Now, what is O B dash plus V? What is O F1? It is F. So, I can write V minus F. See, I want this F1 and V dash in the form of V and F. And that is why we have done this. Also, OD, see here I have OD. So, this is the imaginary line OD and it is a part of a rectangle. It is a part of a rectangle, right. So, the two sides of the rectangle are similar. So, I can write OD is equals to AB. So, here OD is equals to AB. Why? Because they are the opposite sides of a rectangle. So, now this equation A this equation B and this equation C. I will substitute all this equation in equation number 2. Means instead of OD, I can put AB. Instead of OF1, OF1, I can put F, that is the focal length. Instead of F1 B dash, I can put V minus F. Okay, that we have done. This is called the equation number 3. Now, here you can see a b by a dash b dash and equation number 1 a b by a dash b dash. These two equations are similar. See right left hand sides are similar. It means right hand sides are also similar. So, we can equate. So, I have equated, I have compared equation 1 and equation 3. So, here minus u v is equals to f by v minus f because this side 
and this sides are same so this right side and this right side are also same so i can equate this part and this part so i have equated here now i am uh, taking a cross multiple so here if i bring this v minus f towards this side so minus u in bracket v minus f and i am taking this v towards right side so is equals to v f now just i am opening the bracket here minus u into v minus u into v now when minus u goes into the bracket so minus minus plus u f is equals to v f this is our equation number 4 now we have to divide this all the term by u v f so here i have divided all the terms by u v f so minus u by v minus u by v divided by u v f so here u v and u v get cancelled here u f is there it is divided by u v f so u f u f cancel again here v f is there it is divided by u v f so v f v f cancel so we are remain with here nothing means 1 so 1 by f but here the sign is negative so minus 1 by f plus 1 by v because here we are only remain with v is equals to here here we have only u so is equals to 1 by u now if we rearrange all these terms if we rearrange all these terms then we get then what we get 1 by v see i am taking this u towards this side so it is minus 1 by u and this f towards that side then it becomes so this is our lens formula okay here v is the image distance u is the object distance and f is the focal length also remember f is positive for convex lens and f is negative for concave lens and u object distance u is always negative right so i hope uh, you have enjoyed my lecture and if you have any query you can write in the comment section and in the next lecture we are going to discuss the numericals based on the lens formula have a nice day